Right, I'll start reading this out in a bit. Once I start reading it out, I can't see the chat. As if if anyone's got any questions about what I said so far, and speak it now, yeah. Because uh, once I start reading this, it's going to take me a little while to read it out. But yeah, it's mad what she said. Basically, it's like, why the hell did you say that? And I'd never heard that she said this as well, because I've never read the trial transcripts. And this has made me really interested in reading the bloody trial transcripts now, because the shit they said was so crazy. Right. So, what does she say? She says, right, so you went with Bobby and Sadie to Hinman's. Yes, it was more like a house. Did you meet Hinman there? Yes, I met him. Did you have any idea at the time you went to Hinman's house for the purpose of... House... Right, sorry. Did you have any idea at the time you went to Hinman's house of the purpose of the visit? It had something to do with business, but I didn't know what kind and I didn't ask. Was this business between Bobby and Gary Hinman? I guess so. I didn't even ask that. Then how come Sadie was along? She went? Bobby said something because Gary knew Sadie, you know. I guess Sadie and Gary had been close. I don't know. All I know is Bobby asked me to go and I like to go anywhere with Bobby. And she didn't go, right? She never went to this house. It's absolutely crazy that she's saying this. Why did she say this? Because it didn't help Bobby, it didn't help her. There was no reason why she lied about this. She just made herself look even worse. So I gather you met Mr. Hinman at his house or apartment, whatever it may have been. Yes, we met. And what happened after you got there? Was he alone? Yes, he was alone. What happened next? What went on? What went on? Sure. Uh, we got there. Uh, we're carrying on a friendly conversation. And then I was helping Sadie do something in the kitchen. There was an argument. Was there an argument between Bobby and Gary Hinman? Yes, yes. Bobby and Gary started fighting, and Bobby punched Gary pretty hard. Then Sadie got on the phone. Charlie and Bruce came over, right? And it was Mary that phoned Charlie <laughs> at the Gary Hinman house, right? But she's saying that Sadie phoned, and Mary wasn't even there, right? Where did Charlie and Bruce come from, if you know? I imagine Sadie called them. At the Spahn Ranch. You know I was trying to keep Bobby calmed down. I never seen him go off like that before. You don't know the subject matter of the argument they had? No, all right. Bobby knocked Gary's tooth out or loose or something. Well, he punched him pretty hard in the mouth then. Eventually, did Charlie and Bruce Davis arrive? Yeah, they came. What happened next after they arrived? They came over and all of the men went into the living room and were talking. And again, I was in the kitchen. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen because I didn't know what was going on. Then Bobby and Bruce and Charlie came into the kitchen and they were discussing something. I don't know what, <laughs> what, even though they were right in front of you, you've got no idea what they were talking about. Okay. Uh, and who came into the kitchen? Let's go slowly. Bobby, Bruce and Charlie came into the kitchen. They were having a discussion about something. Yeah. And did the discussion continue in the kitchen? Yeah, you know, they just, you know, how people are. They just come in and talking. I see. I wasn't even paying any attention because it wasn't any of my business and I didn't want to make it my business. Where was Sadie at the time? In the kitchen with me. Then what happened? Then Gary came in with a gun and he shot it and the gun went and it missed the group of men and it went into the kitchen wall. It was like cabinets. So I guess in the course of him shooting, it looked like he was trying to hit Charlie. Charlie had a sword and I guess Charlie, you know, jerked it out and went to defend himself and he cut Gary's ear. So this sword, was this a pirate-like sword? Yeah, it looks like the one they have been bringing up all the time. And did you see Charlie wear that sword from time to time before this? Sure. Did Charlie play pirate once in a while? Now and then, yeah. That was one of his roles in the Magical Mystery Tour. Sure, I even had a pirate outfit. You played pirate from time to time also? Well, you know, I like to be with the guys sometimes too. I mean, you played the role of a pirate too. Yeah, that's when I would wear my knife. I would wear my knife other times too, though. Well, anyway, Charlie had the sword and he took it, you know, like I say. Anyway, Gary got cut and then what happened when Gary got cut? You know, well, Charlie just stood there looking. It looked like to me he wasn't quite sure just what had happened. And Sadie was all freaked out because Sadie has always, you know, had a heavy thing for Charlie. So I said, you know, I said to Bruce and Charlie, just go, you know, just go and I will do everything. I can take care of this situation. So let's see. Did Charlie and Bruce go? Yeah, they started out of the house. 
And Gary went running, you know, not running because it was a small house, but went after them again. What are you saying to me? All ah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's something about the stream. It's not. Right, because he ain't right. Did Charlie and Bruce go? Yeah, they started out the house. And Gary went running, you know, not running because it was a small house, but went after them again. And Sadie went towards Gary. I'm not sure just what she did, but somehow she banged him on the head with the gun a couple of times because he ended up laying in the living room. Did you see how Sadie got a gun? I didn't see it because, you know, it's a small hallway, you know, and I didn't really see. You did not actually see Sadie then hit him and over the head with anything. You just know he was hit over the head. Looking back on it and figuring it out, she must have, you know. But as to what my eyes actually saw, I did not see it because you weren't even fucking there. Where was Bobby when this was going on? Bobby was still in the kitchen with me. It's a small house. So evidently, did Charlie and Bruce leave? They left right then. They were already out by the time Sadie had done that and they did not come back. How about Bobby? Did he leave? Bobby stayed. All right. How about Bobby? Did he leave? Bobby stayed. How long did Bobby stay after Hin Hinman was hit over the head? Well, you see, Sadie was going to try to help Gary get better. And we spent that night and we spent half the next day. And I kept, you know, Sadie would tell me, you know, cook some broth or do this or do that. And I kept trying to ask her, you know, well, we should get some kind of medical help. But Sadie was sure that Gary could get over it and she just would take care of him. And she chanted over him. Did you want Gary to be admitted to a hospital? Is that what you were saying? Well, I will tell you, I did not particularly want to look at what had happened to him. So, you know, I left that up to Sadie's judgment. She kept saying he would be all right and I wouldn't go into the room. I would just stay in the kitchen and help out. Did I understand you say you heard her chant? Yes, you know, she was doing all kinds of things over him, you know. I imagine he could talk. I heard them mumbling to each other. I imagine Gary would tell her if it was bad enough. Do you have any recollection of what Sadie chanted over Gary's body? No. Why did you use the expression chant? Did it sound like she was chanting? Yes, you know, continuous repetition of the same thought over and over, you know? They do it when you meditate. You do it with beads, you know? You go over like this with your beads and you chant something over and over. Were you on a trip when this was all going on? Or don't you remember? <laughs> or were you on a constant trip? I don't know if I was, but, you know, I got I was not accustomed to such things going on. Had you ever viewed violence or strike that? Had you ever viewed violence of that nature before? People getting cut and bloody stuff? Yes. No. All right, you stayed there overnight. Yes, we did. And then it came to the next afternoon. Did you stay in the kitchen? Also, there was a patio. His house had a main.